Good morning, everyone. I'm Dan Forbes, and I'm glad you're here with me this morning to share the, the office prayer for Monday, May 10th. Let us begin by using the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> now let's state the faith that we believe by saying the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sin, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Uh, I've either been uh, around the farm, mostly raised on a farm, and currently own a farm. And I have to say that sheep would not be my first choice of animals to raise. I've raised pigs and helped raise chickens and, and cattle and little calves. But when you feed sheep, they all seem to rush at you at the same time, trying to knock you down. And they, they eat like they're just starved to death. And they'll eat so much that they'll get sick and, make them, and they can possibly die. And you could give them a shot to keep that from happening. Um, other things, too, uh, when they're afraid, they run everywhere trying to get away and they don't go anywhere uh, when they're cornered they keep going in the direction that they're cornered and uh, they just uh, just <laughs> they're, they're, they need guidance and I guess uh, we're like sheep uh, sometimes we eat too much and a lot of times we probably eat quickly and get ourselves sick um, we also run around from all kinds of stuff that we do from here and there and end up going nowhere. As a farmer takes care of his sheep, we have a shepherd who takes care of his sheep. And that's Jesus, and he is our Savior, our, our shepherd, and he's our good shepherd. Um, I would like to read uh, from uh, the Gospel of John. And uh, this is uh, going to be in chapter 10. We're going to read verses 1 through 17. It's kind of funny. A few weeks ago, we had uh, Good Shepherd Sunday, and uh, it's kind of appropriate that we would read that for this lesson. Truly, truly, I say to you, he who does not enter the sheepfold by the door, but climbs in by another way, that man is a thief and a robber. But he who enters by the door is the shepherd of the sheep, to him the gatekeeper opens. The sheep hear his voice, and he calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has brought out all his own, he goes before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. A stranger they will not follow, but they will flee from him, for they do not know the voice of strangers. This figure of speech Jesus used with them, but they did not understand what he was saying to them. So Jesus again said to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, I am the door of the sheep. All who came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the door. If anyone enters by me, he will be saved and will go in and out and find pasture. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. He who is a hired hand and not a shepherd, who does not own the sheep, sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and flees. And the wolf snatches them and scatters them. He flees because he is a hired hand 
and cares nothing for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my own, sh and my own know me. Just as the Father knows me, and I know the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. And I have other sheep that are not of this fold. I must bring them also, and they will listen to my voice. So there will be a one flock, one shepherd. For this reason, the Father loves me. Because I lay down my life that I may take it up again. In closing today, I thought it would be appropriate to pray the 23rd Psalm. And I would invite you to join with me as I read this to you. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies and anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. See you next week.